Hello, I'm Angela Smith and I work for the Royal Horticultural Society Community Outreach Team. I'm based in the west of Scotland and I am absolutely delighted to be along here today at Fair Scotland a Community Garden and Allotment Loch End in Easter House. And today I'm going to show you how to build your very own bog garden, a fabulous addition to your garden, brilliant for, and beneficial for wildlife. Um, and far safer than a pond um, if you have young children. Now for your bog garden, you're going to need water butt to harvest your rainwater. Your garden shrug, I have drilled uh, one centimetre in diameter holes in the base, roughly about five centimetres apart. What we don't want to happen is that your bog garden becomes waterlogged. We want it to retain a little bit of moisture and be quite boggy, but we don't want it waterlogged. So make sure you've got enough holes drilled in the base of that. Your garden hose, again, with some small holes drilled in that to allow the water to perforate out. Stopper for your hose. Drill for drilling those holes, obviously. Garden soil, some gravel or grit and we have a range of some bog plants. You will find a list of plants on the main RHS website that are ideal for your bog garden. Today we have some marsh marigolds, water forget-me-nots, purple lustrif, and some common valerian. Now I have dug the hole uh, deep enough to accommodate the tog bucket so that we can um, start and establish and create our bog garden here. Um, it's in a semi-shady position we positioned the water butt fairly close to our bog garden and it's going to capture the, the rainwater, harvest, its, harvest the rainwater into the water butt and then it will flow nicely into uh, the chug bucket into the bog garden. So I'm going to use some sharp scissors and just ensure that I have enough of the hose freely running into the chug bucket cut the hose nice and neat, nice neat cut and then I'm going to place the stopper in the end of that just like so and just make sure that's pushed in nice and firmly and then that needs to get drilled holes in it roughly about five centimeters apart so I'm just going to use my, my drill fine tip on the drill and just take the drill and drill holes along your hose every five centimetres and that will allow the water to drain and, and run into your chug bucket and then what I want to do now is start to add a layer of gravel in the base of the chug bucket so roughly about five centimetres and then just top up another layer of your gravel on top of your hose. Make sure your hose is placed in between the layers of the gravel. Layer of gravel on the base, hose in with the holes drilled in it and then your layer of gravel on top and now I'm going to add in my garden soil. We're just taking the soil up to the rim of the truck ensuring the hose is nice and secure in the gravel. Place that in. And once we have our water butt filled with our rainwater, that will slowly release the water through the hose into the bog garden. There we go. Hugely beneficial for wildlife and a nice addition to the garden. Just top that up. There we go. More or less to the top of the bucket. And now we're ready to plant. I have some purple loosestrife and I have some common valerian and I also have some lovely little um, 
water forget-me-nots. And I'm just going to plant a few of these. I don't want to plant too many, and I'm going to plant them to the one side of the bog garden, enabling and leaving enough space and enough uh, free garden soil so that the birds and the wildlife can come and enjoy the garden. We tip before you plant your plants, always make sure your plants are happy. Make sure they're well watered and they're in good condition before you plant them. When you're removing them from uh, the containers, push your plug plants from beneath and lift them out. Good idea also just to loosen up the roots ever so slightly. There we go, we'll set these aside. And again, just loosen up, make sure they're nice and happy, they're well watered. There we are. We'll save the plastic pots for another day. They'll be reused, repurposed once again. Loosen those up. And using my garden trowel, I'm just going to into the back and onto the one side. I want to plant on the one side of our bog garden, leaving enough um, exposed garden soil for wildlife to come along and enjoy the garden and steal and pinch the soil for their homes. A good press down, make sure it's nice and firm. There we go. And once you've planted a nice water to make sure they're nice and happy now that they've been moved undisturbed. And there we have our bog garden. Your swifts and your house martins will love to come along, pinch and steal the, the soil, the garden soil from your bog garden to build their nests and their homes and habitats. Whole host of other wildlife, toads and frogs, etc. will love and enjoy and make the best of your, your bog garden. It's a, a sanctuary and a haven. Um, and a food source for, for wildlife.